friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerds UK and I am back with a December daily directory video version for 2019. So I got some really positive um, feedback on my December daily directory from last year. Um, and so I thought I would bring it back with a 2019 version, give you an update about um, what I'm doing for the project this year um, and how that looks. So if you're new to my channel or you're new to the scrapbooking industry or um, you haven't heard about December Daily, then it's a project that was invented by Ali Edwards and um, she does a wonderful job every year with her December Daily. Um, it takes many different forms from uh, different people. So some people prefer to do a um, almost like a month in the life so they document every single day in December something they've done um, other people do December memory so it could be something from this year this this Christmas um, or this December should I say um, or it could be something from previous Christmases or it could be a, a combination of both there are really no rules with December daily it is just a project for the month of December um, to get your December memories down. So um, there's another project that's um, October daily, which is very similar. So it's um, people tend to document the month of October when they're getting ready for Halloween. This is almost like a Christmas one. However, um, I don't believe that you need to um, celebrate Christmas in order to be able to take part in a December daily um, project. December is full of um, so many different things for, for different people and you can you can make your project whatever you want it to be. So if you want it to be um, a project about your anticipation, your build up towards Christmas, that's fine. That's no, that, that is your album, you do what you want. I don't think it's one of those things that is exclusively for a set of people that celebrate a set time of the year. Um, for me, December can be a whole load of different things. So it could be looking at the um, the season more than anything. So um, I'm going to come on to um, that in another video um, to help those that might want to take part in this project that don't necessarily um, celebrate Christmas um, or anything like that. So I'm going to cover that in a separate video. Now the reason that I take part, this is my fifth year of doing December Daily and um, it all started, I was very new to scrapbooking when I first did my, when I did my first December Daily and um, <clears throat> I was all very fresh and new about it and it was all very exciting and um, I never completed my project um, in the month of December and I think it took me until closer to the following Christmas to actually get it completed and um, I'm gonna give throughout this series, the same as what I did last um, last year as well, there are hints and tips to help you um, complete this project. And as I said, there are no rules, so you don't have to do something daily, but we will come on to that because that's a very important point. The reason I do it is Christmas, um, I keep saying Christmas, I don't mean to, December, winter is my, uh, is my perfect time of the year, so, I want to be able to capture the memories for December, especially because I do like Christmas along with winter. Um, I want to capture those memories of um, of my December. And I love looking back on previous years. You could take this format and you could do it for, if you have a busy month um, for any other month of the year, you could take this format and go and try it with that month. So if you have um, some other celebrations um, that are going on or if you have birthdays or anniversaries then take this format and use it for that month instead it doesn't have to be December it's just this project is um, is designed to be done now but no rules you can do it whenever you want I love the I love the feeling every year in December where I pull out my previous albums and for me, scrapbooking is always, it's one of those things that it will never, you'll never be caught up. You'll never be finished scrapbooking. Um, even if you are up to, up to date, everything that you wanted to scrap is up to date. You'll have new memories today, tomorrow, next week, next month. You'll never ever be caught up. And December Daily is great for that because it's a definitive product uh, project. So by the end of December, doesn't matter if you finished it by the end of December, but by the end of December, your your photographs will be done. You won't have anything else to um, to add in to that album. So no matter when you finish it, that project will be complete. It will be a complete 
project that you'll never have to go back and add to or revisit you can do um if you've got extra bits that you want to add in then of course you can but um to me i think that sense of achievement that i've completed something especially scrapping project life like i said it, it will never end um scrapping 12 by 12 layouts and i have thousands of photos still to scrap um those ongoing memories will always be there i'll always be um having to go and create layouts and traveler's notebook pages and that sort of thing but december daily it's a finished product for me i have to have something in my um in my scrapbooking um life if that's a thing um to call finish to actually go sense of achievement look at that i finished that i'm done and then almost it might spur me on to help with um keeping motivated um, and keeping my mojo for um, my other projects as well, the things that will never get finished. So, you may have done December Daily previously, or December Documented, or um, whatever you want to call it. It's the same project. You may have done it previously. <clears throat> you may never want to do it again. Uh, you may have done it previously and are chomping at the bit to get it started this year. Or you may never have done it previously, but you want to give it a go. So what I want to cover in this series again this year is um, all of those things where if you're on the fence about it, um, let me tell you, one of the myths about December Daily is, oh, I don't have the time to do it daily. Okay, we will cover that in another video because it, although the name is December Daily, you call it whatever you want, December Memories, December Documented, whatever you want to call it, it's not about scrapbooking and getting those memories down daily, it doesn't have to be done daily, of course you can, of course if you do it daily, it'll probably keep you up to date um, and um, keep you on track to get it finished by the end of the month, but there, there, there are no rules. I know that there was someone that messaged me to say that they um, do the December daily project, but they don't even start it until January. So until everything's all, all over and all, all finished, and then they can sit down with those memories and relive them again throughout the month of January. So um, I think that's a great idea. And if that's what works for you, then do it. But what I wanted to do is for anybody that is sitting on the fence um, with this project, um, that you're undecided whether you want to do it or whether you don't, for me, I absolutely love this um, this project and I couldn't not see myself doing it every year. Now, I've taken a little bit of a different uh, stance on it this year. So normally I just go, um, just do what I want. And um, generally that's how I scrapbook. Um, I just do my own thing. This year I decided to um, take part in, so Ali Edwards does offer... Um, sort of project classes every year and I decided this year to sign up and participate in the uh, her product play workshop now um, I'm taking those ideas I'm spinning them I'm making them my own because that's what I do and so I wanted to sort of say that you will see some um, hints tips ideas some um, some projects um, that you can go away and recreate some DIY cards um, you'll see my foundation pages as well, but um, I think that I think if you combine last year's December Daily directory series with this year, um, then collectively you should get enough out of both of the series to help you on this journey if it's something that you want to do. So yeah, although I'm doing the workshops, um, ultimately I'm still making the album my own. So I've already started on my foundation pages and if you're new I'll explain in a later video what foundation pages are. Um, again that's some people prefer them some people don't um, but I'll cover that in a later video and I'm just really excited to share my December daily with you this year um, and I just think it's going to be super exciting so I've got so excited um, at the beginning of November that the project was coming up um, in just a month's time. Now, if you've watched some of my recent videos, you'll know that I've got an issue with my um, with my joints at the moment. So I'm having to um, just do little bits here and there as and when I can, as and when I feel up to it. Um, so, and I'm enjoying how my album's filling up um, with some of my foundation pages. 
and yeah i'm just really excited to bring these videos again um for you this year so thanks for joining me for my little intro video and i aim to have a video up um every day from now until the end of november um to uh, for my december daily directory version 2019 or whatever i'm going to call it i haven't quite got that far yet um so join me tomorrow for the next video and um i'll see you all then give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new see you tomorrow